Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I'm filming something super fun. I thought it was a really good idea because people are always messaging me, asking me, what are your favorite this, what are your favorite that? So instead of making a whole favorites video, I'm gonna make it per section of makeup. So today I'm starting off with foundations because I think that's really like a staple in your makeup. I think you can have the best eyeshadows, the best primers, the best whatever, but the base of your makeup is your foundation. So today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite, favorite foundation. Some are matte. Some are dewy, but I'm really just going to be talking about overall what kind of finish it is and everything in between. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below any suggestions for future videos. And thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So we're going to start off today's video by the most obvious one. You guys already saw this coming. My favorite, favorite foundation is the Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani Foundation. I'm in the shade 6.25. Not right now. Right now I have zero spray tan on. I'm just super, super pale. Um, this is such a good foundation. This is a dewy finish. So if you do have oily skin and stay away from the dewy finish, then this is not the foundation for you. This is just such a good foundation that during the year, I live in a very cold country. And when I feel like it's a little, it's getting a little too wintry for me, I just put this on and I feel like it's summer already. I really enjoy this on vacation because it gives you enough coverage to build it up. So if you do like more coverage, this isn't amazing for you, but it's still pretty buildable. And I just really like the way that it looks on my skin. It doesn't cake at all. It's one layer. And the color um, that I have is amazing because it's an undertone of like peachy. And I don't like orange foundations. I just like like the peachy undertones with my skin tone, even though I do have a yellow undertone. I try to switch it up. And this one is my favorite foundation. I will never stay away from this. This is the first foundation I reach for when I'm tanned. Another amazing foundation is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. It's a water-based foundation, so it's perfect for people people that do have problematic skin and don't want to put those oils on top. It's also amazing for people that have lash extensions because people recommend oil-free foundation, oil-free primers, and oil-free makeup when having eyelash extensions because it does reduce the time that it'll fall off and you have to go for a refill. So this is a really great foundation. The finish is also dewy. It's not matte. Um, I think it actually says online that it's a matte finish, but I actually find it really dewy. The color that I have is medium tan sand. And I adore this color. This is also something I reach for in the summer. This is very similar to my Luminous Silk. And if you do like the color Luminous Silk of 6.25, this is the exact dupe of color. It's the same shade. I don't know why it's the exact same shade. But Medium Tan Sand is the same shade as 6.25. So this is a really, really great foundation. It makes me feel like it's summer all year. It's really healthy for you. So even if you do have acne or anything and you're scared to pile up things on top of it, this is a great option. The next foundation I'm talking about is something that's like a lot less coverage. So if you're looking for something just to wear every single day, this is what I wear every single day to work because I don't want to cake on foundation. This is the First Aid Beauty Triple Protection Skin Tint. It has goji berries in it, SPF 30, amazing for vacations or when you're in a hot country or for the summertime. And this is in the shade medium. I believe they only have three shades and this is the only shade that is good for me when I'm pale, I can blend it in or when I'm super tanned. This is like the perfect foundation for the gym. If you're the type of person that goes to the gym and you don't want to just like wear no foundation, no makeup, like this is perfect, perfect for you. You could just put it on a little bit and you'll just like really be good to go without feeling like you caked on something. I do believe that this is like pretty good for you. Like I don't think this is a bad foundation skin wise. Like I don't think you should be concerned if you have any problematic skins by piling this on. I mean, one thing that I'm gonna say I don't like about this foundation is the nozzle gets stuck. This is my second one. And I returned the first one because I thought the nozzle was getting stuck. The foundation wasn't coming out of it and sometimes it does get stuck. So that's like one of the big like problems that I have with this foundation. But overall, it obviously made the cut for this video. So I do really like it. So this is a great option for people that like to work out or live in hot countries and want to wear SPF without putting on the sunscreen. So this is great. The next foundation I'm talking about is a little bit more on the pricey side, kind of like the Giorgio Armani, but I really love this foundation because it gives me kind of like an airbrush look. So this is the Dior Air Flash foundation. Uh, this is in the shade 301, which I believe is sand. So this is a really great foundation. Not sand, it's sub, which is in French. It means sand in French. I think it's probably the same in English. So this is a really great foundation. For all you rookies out there that don't know how to put on um, a spray foundation, so you basically just, some people just put it directly on the face 
I personally don't like it that way because it gets into my eyelashes, it gets into my eyebrows, it gets into my hair, it's not fun. You put it in your palm, you spray a little bit on your palm, you put a beauty blender or a brush inside and then you can apply it to your face. That's the way that I learned in beauty school. And this is a great option for people that really are looking for like that like luminosity, but also with the coverage. Because the thing about dewy foundations is that there's not much coverage that comes with it because dewy means somewhat sheer. So this has a sheer coverage, but such great, like it covers anything that I have that I really want to cover uh, without feeling cakey. It's probably the lightest foundation I have because it does kind of feel like an airbrush look. So the airbrush look in general won't be cakey and this is like the least cakey foundation you'll ever buy. I don't travel with this foundation because I don't know what the restrictions are on it. So I don't travel this foundation because I don't know why. I don't want to put it on a plane for some reason. I think I use this the most for like special events and occasions. So I use this for like weddings and bar mitzvahs and things like that. Like really, really good occasions that I have. So this is a really great option if you're looking for an expensive foundation for an occasion. Even if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for a foundation for brides, they have a good shade range. I believe the undertones are mainly yellow, but this is a really great foundation as well. Now we're going to head into like the kind of like less expensive drugstore ones so these are drugstore ones but i find in general they're a little like higher end drugstore so this one is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in bronze beige i actually own pretty much every single shade of this foundation because it's seven dollars and i've always different shade ranges and it's always good for clients as well the only thing is that the application is a bit weird um you can apply this with beauty blender for some reason it becomes a little cakey in my professional opinion i just think it's better to apply with a brush but this is a really really good foundation i would recommend it to anybody who's looking for something that's good wants to look higher end but doesn't have the budget for it so you can go get this at walmart i know that many walmarts carry it but many walmarts do not so please check with them before you show up there and look for this foundation i love this foundation too because you can use it up and go buy another one it's not like a georgia armani foundation where you empty it and then you're like mm, like on the spectrum of not really knowing if you want to go back and spend that really like hard dollar on it so this is great because i do believe it's around seven dollars i'm talking all about canadian prices here so i believe it's inexpensive and it's super super great so you can go pick that up we're gonna go into another expensive one. This is a little bit less expensive than something like Giorgio Armani, but it's a great foundation. It came out about a month ago. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Vanuatu. I do not know if I'm saying that correctly. I apologize to NARS if I'm not. This is in the shade M3.5 as well if you're looking for a number. This is a really great foundation because it's full coverage, like full, full, full coverage. Um, it's dewy just the way I like it. I was looking for something that was full coverage and dewy and I don't see that very often because full coverage and dewy do not really go within the same category for my experiences because dewiness is also sheerness that equals like no coverage whatsoever. So this is a really great foundation if you're looking for the coverage, you want the dewiness, but you also don't want to look too wet and too dewy. This has a little bit of matte inside of it. This is also a good foundation if you want to mix. I mix this with so many foundations because this is a little dark for me. I do mix this with so many foundations, including the Luminous Silk and also a Milani foundation that we're going to get to really soon. This is a really great option for all you guys out there who don't want to spend $80 on a foundation and prefer to spend around $60 or $50 and just want the dewiness with the coverage. This is the way to go. So now we're going to head into another drugstore favorite. I have two shades of this one. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I have like two such wide ranges of colors. I have 01 and 06. So it says here it's medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free, long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. So I believe the finish of this is probably dewy to matte, not really... 100% dewy. I feel like more matte, but this is the only foundation that I don't mind being super matte because it's just kind of like a good, it's like a good matte. It's like a matte that's like not like in your face like matte and it doesn't like with a lot of matte foundations you have the cakiness that comes with it and this doesn't have the cakiness at all. I mean for the price it was like $11. I get mine at Maxi in Montreal if you do live there. So I got it there. The shade that I am right now is 01 Vanilla. I'm wearing it now actually. And this shade is the 06 Sand Beige that I'm going to bring to Florida when I get a little more tan and I don't want to break the bank by using up another Giorgio Armani or Nars foundation. So I'm just going to stick with this one. This is a great foundation if you're looking for the drugstore ones and you're not, you kind of want to stay away from the wet and wild and you just want to get something that you know is going to last you all day because this, I'm telling you, lasts you all day. This lasts me 
from 8 a.m. all the way to 7 p.m. and that's without reapplying. I find it works really well with other products. I find some foundations don't really work well with other products, but this one works really well with other products. So this works well if you want to bake, if you want to just set, if you want to just put liquid highlighter and walk out your door, whatever you want to do. This looks really good in any shape or form and on any application. So if you want to use a beauty blender or a brush, this is a great foundation. So for my last foundation, I'm going to head into another drugstore favorite. This has been a favorite for many years. This is something that I really loved when I was younger and couldn't really afford a foundation. This is really how I started to get into the world of beauty. Um, I would just walk over to my local Pharmapri and pick this up and this was my foundation for two, two or three years. I still adore this foundation. The only reason I do have it is because I mix it with other colors. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, normal to oily skin. So this is a really, really amazing, amazing full coverage foundation. It's 100% matte, but I mix it with dewy, dewy foundations because I adore this color so much. This color is Toffee Caramel. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, kind of like a bronzy brown, like, really nice color, but it's way too dark for any time. Like, I can be super, super tan, but I cannot wear this alone. So I always mix it to get the right shade for myself and for clients and whatever. I adore this foundation so much. I can use this on prides. I can use this on people for prom, and it just looks great on everybody. I don't know about the poreless part. I don't know if it makes you look poreless, but it does make you look matte and makes you your makeup sit really Really nicely so this is something I'm super super into I love this foundation again another drugstore favorite Maybelline really kills it with a lot of like items in my opinion this is a really good buy I believe it's around eight to twelve dollars depending on where you're located in American and Canadian prices so this is another favorite so this really wraps up all my foundations that I'm super, super obsessed with. If you use a foundation that I didn't mention and you love it, then good for you. Every foundation works differently with every skin. So these are the ones that worked for me. I tried other ones that didn't work for me per se, but other foundations work perfectly for other people. You might not even like some of the foundations I mentioned, but everybody has different skin tones, everybody has different preferences of finishes, and that's really all I have to say. Let me know in the comments down below if there's a foundation I didn't mention that I should try out. There's so many foundations out there that I want to get my hands on, but you know, I don't want to break the bank while doing that. So let me know down below if you have any preferences in foundation that you think I should try preferably drugstore I'm really like I'm really scared and I shy away from drugstore foundations but let me know if there's any drugstore foundations you think I should try and thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching this video and I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys next time bye